Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Burden Bearer, January 2 Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. In these words, Christ is speaking to every human being. Whether they know it or not, all are weary and heavy laden. All are weighed down with burdens that only Christ can remove. The heaviest burden that we bear is the burden of sin. If we were left to bear this burden, it would crush us. But the sinless one has taken our place. The Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. Isaiah 53, 6 He has borne the burden of our guilt. He will take the load from our weary shoulders. He will give us rest. The burden of care and sorrow also he will bear. He invites us to cast all our care upon him, for he carries us upon his heart. The elder brother of our race is by the eternal throne. He looks upon every soul who is turning his face toward him as the Savior. He knows by experience what are the weaknesses of humanity, what are our wants, and where lies the strength of our temptations. For he was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. He is watching over you, trembling child of God. Are you tempted? He will deliver. Are you weak? He will strengthen. Are you ignorant? He will enlighten. Are you wounded? He will heal. The Lord telleth the number of the stars, and yet he healeth the broken heart and bindeth up their wounds. Psalm 147, 4 and 3. Come unto me is his invitation. Whatever your anxieties and trials, spread out your case before the Lord. Your spirit will be braced for endurance. The way will be opened for you to distangle yourself from the embarrassment and difficulty. The weaker and more helpless you know yourself to be, the stronger will you become in his strength. The heavier your burdens, the more blessed is the strength in casting them upon the burden bearer. The rest that Christ offers depends upon conditions, but these conditions are plainly specified. They are those with which all can comply. He tells us just how his rest is to be found. Take my yoke upon you, Jesus says. The yoke is an instrument of service. Cattle are yoked for labor, and the yoke is essential that they may labor effectually. By this illustration, Christ teaches us that we are called to service as long as life shall last. For the reflection, what burden am I carrying that Jesus is waiting to take from me?